Hey girl, hey, and welcome back to another video. Today, I am bringing fall into my home. And if it means bringing out my fall decor, getting my table placements in order, snuggling up with my favorite throw, or making a delicious cup of vanilla chai tea, I've realized it's not complete without the warm, wonderful scents that fall brings. So, if you wanna find out how I created this easy fall simmer pot, stick around and make your home smell just like mine. Let's get into the video. Okay, so we are starting out with these simple ingredients. I have some vanilla extract here, um, and it's a large bottle, but I'll just measure that out. I also have some ground nutmeg, totally optional if you wanna use that. Here, I also am using a um, orange that I had, and I'm just peeling that off, and I'll just use the orange peel, but you can use the entire orange if you want to. You can cut it into slices, along with some cinnamon sticks. You can also use some ground cinnamon. And then in the back, I have my apples. And this was an old apple that I just didn't want to go bad, so I sliced it up. And I thought it would be perfect because what's fall without apples, right? Apple pie, all of that good stuff. And lastly, I have um, just a bag of tea. And that's just, if you don't have these things, if you have a bag of like chai tea, something that smells like fall, you can simply just use all of the tea leaves inside and add that. There are always ways around it. And trust me, if you're working on the budget, this is an easy fix. So that is what we will use to build our pot. Okay, now that I have my pot set up, I'm just going to go ahead and start placing those apples inside um, and just building this pot up with the things that I already showed you in the previous screen. You'll also see I'm throwing in my cinnamon sticks. You can use the ground cinnamon like I mentioned. A little bit more messier, but I do like the ground um, cinnamon also. Along with those peels, you could also use the slices like I told you before too. That works as well. And I'm throwing in that ground nutmeg. Totally optional again. And my tea bag because I'm using everything that I have um, on my cutting board. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and eyeball that vanilla extract. And now that I have water in there, I'll begin to pour more water. You can use as much water as you want, um, but just keep in mind the water does evaporate rather quickly, so it's up to you, but please keep an eye on this and we will turn it down. And you'll see right there that that is as easy as it gets. That is my simmer pot. If you're impatient like me, you can turn it on high to get it boiling and then turn it down on simmer. Either way it works, keep an eye on it and add more water as you need to. As you can see here, that's what I decided to do because I wanted this to run all day. And this can last you, I would say up to two days or more, depending on if you use the apples or not, that is what would make the difference. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. I'll talk to you soon, girl. Peace.